Rec Room finally began fixing the watch's performance, and they're doing more to promote high quality content? Hi there, I'm in the middle of working through my channel refresh and bringing brand new quality content to this channel. However, I wanted to talk about some really cool stuff relatively quickly and why it's a big deal. Without further ado, please enjoy. Rec Room has been finally working to fix some long-standing issues around performance and in beginning to undertake important work to fix and great issues within the community. I've been advocating for this stuff for a long time, so to finally see it come to fruition, it feels very validating. The first issue is watch performance. For most of 2022 and all of 2023, the watch UI has been in a bad state. More and more additions and split tests began to bog down the watch to unbearable levels of performance. This would lead to stutter, subpar performance, and generally not a good experience. This was even more noticeable in VR, where keeping a steady FPS matters most. Thankfully, Rec Room has finally taken some steps to address the watch performance, with even more claims of increased performance coming in the future. However, we do have some fixes now. How good are they? To compare, I took some benchmark results on both a high-end PC and a Quest 3. I'm going to skip straight to the Quest results, as everyone's PC setups are a little different, so a comparison there is much harder. Before the performance patch, Quest 3 performance would look like this. As you can see, we can hit as low as 20 FPS in VR with just scrolling the watch. This is genuinely awful stuff. I can't imagine how many users downloaded Rec Room because it was free, saw how bad the performance was, and immediately quit the game and never returned. This was a serious problem. Thankfully, Rec Room knew of how much of a problem this was, and made a decision sometime last year to finally start addressing this issue. Here's the current patch. It's, it's night and day. I can't get lower than 50 FPS by doing the same stress test of scrolling up and down the play menu, when the same action would drop me to around 20 FPS before. And for those of you curious, on my high-end PC, at least on screen mode, the same test would drop me to around 60 FPS. After the patch, the same stress test only drops me to around 140 FPS. That's a serious increase. Moving on, the next thing Rec Room is doing is promoting high quality content. Rec Room is piloting some split tests where you may see a new carousel on your watch titled Established in Rec Room. This tab only features high quality original content. No slop, no hopping on trends, just good Rec Room rooms created by the community. This reminds me a lot of VRChat's various quality room filters. Spotlight, VRChat's variety box, Trending. VRChat does an amazing job of providing high quality content up front as soon as you get in game and you want something to do. Rec Room? Not so much. Rec Room needs this. According to one of the devs, this split test could go away as they find that this isn't what people want to play. Now obviously, data is data, and I'm not just saying to ignore it, but letting a program like this go to waste will only solidify Rec Room's image of being that one game that copies concepts from Roblox and VRChat and is seen as the inferior game as a result. And that's not even mentioning the egregious cash grab, low effort content that Rec Room has let proliferate on its platform. If you do not have this tab, because it is a split test after all, then chances are it is still in your watch, but only at the bottom, and it is called Ink Showcase. Please still go check it out, as you will find high quality content you may have otherwise not found. That's about all I have to say on these topics. I made this quick video because I sincerely do think that these improvements are important to the game. And if Rec Room maintains this trajectory moving forward, I have no doubts that Rec Room community sentiment will improve. This game is so much more than slop content. If you like this video, please subscribe. I have a lot of cool mini documentaries and even an entire Rec Room iceberg on the way that you will not want to miss. Thanks for watching.